Welcome to the channel. As you can see, the Will of Death is back. Let's see who the Will has chosen for us today. To the old gods, the new gods, and the Lord of Light. Ooh. The Will has chosen Tyrion, and the Will is always right. Yes! You did this! You did this! Take you! Take you! Wife. Where's Sansa? Find her. Bar the gates of the city, seize every ship in the harbor. Where is she? No one leaves the capital. No oh. one. Damn. Get him. Where are we going? Somewhere safe. Up you go, my lady. No! Peter. Peter. You heard, my lady. Good. Good. I'm sure you've had quite a fright. Rest easy. The worst has passed. Not English. I promise I'll get her to you safely. Softly, my friend. First, you'll want your pay. Ten thousand, was it? Ten thousand. Wait! <laughs> oh, in the face. You don't want a queen to hear A thousand gold coats are searching for you. And if they found you, how do you think they would punish the girl who murdered the king? I didn't murder anyone. Why did you kill him? Because he was a drunk and a fool, and I don't trust drunk fools. He saved me. Saved you, my lady. He followed my orders, every one of them. He did it all for gold. Money buys a man's silence for a time. A bolt in the heart buys it forever. Excellent. <laughs> he was helping me good magic. Yeah. his <laughs> life. Yes. And he gave you a priceless necklace that once belonged to his grandmother. The last legacy of House Hollard. made a few weeks ago. What did I want to tell you about the capital? We're all liars here. Including you? Come. You're safe with me. Sailing home. What's home for her, though? So am I the queen? Good question. Oh, they didn't announce they her the queen? They brought your grandfather's body when he died, you know? Yeah, made me look at it. You need to be what was it like? consummate or something? They took me yeah. to the Great Hall. That's there he was. One of my husbands preferred the company of men and was stabbed through the heart. Another was happy as torturing animals and was poisoned at our wedding feast. I must be cursed. Nonsense. Your circumstances have improved remarkably. You did wonderful work on Joffrey. The next one should be easier. Wow. Next one. It was just her job. Dang, this is like a business model. <laughs> the next one. Your brother is dead. Do you know what that means? I'm not trying to trick you. It means I've become king. Yes. King Robert was strong. He won the rebellion and crushed the Targaryen dynasty. And he attended three small council meetings in 17 years. He spent his time whoring and hunting and drinking until the last two killed him. So, well, the man who starves himself to death, technically, better they all lack. Wisdom? Yes. Wisdom is what makes a good king. Yes. A wise king knows what he knows and what he doesn't. You're young. A wise young king listens to his counselors and heeds their advice until he comes of age. And the wisest kings continue to listen to them long afterwards. Your brother was not a wise king. Your brother was not a good king. If he had been, perhaps he'd still be alive. Now, ask the king. 
You will have to marry her. Come with me, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> yes, why? Joffrey's like, you bastard. <laughs> Talking crap about me. Yes, yes, but as anyone who explains the details. I just love the way Tywin talks. I feel like he would be a great storyteller. Just want to listen. Yeah, we're sitting in his like class, a, right? Yeah, we're a history teacher professor. You are. You will be. I'll see to that. Damn, he's grooming. Tommen already. Fed your son. Kill Tyrion. Kill's my brother. Our brother. He was our son. Our baby boy. time or the right place definitely not the right place Joffrey came to the set just for that <laughs> Where are we? Forgive my father. He was wounded fighting in the war. Our cottage burned down while he was gone. And my mother with it. He's never been the same. Which house did he fight for? Oh. The Tully's of Riverrun. We don't have much, but any man that bled for House Tully is welcome to it. Arya's pretty witty, uh, huh? There's the wisdom. Smart. We <laughs> ask the farmer to judge us with mercy, She's accepting our human fragments from the clutches of depravity. You're going to do all seven of the fuckers? Father! <laughs> we ask the smith to strengthen our hands and our backs so we may finish the work required of us. We ask the crone to guide us on our journey from darkness to darkness. And they ask the stranger not to kill us in our beds tonight for no <laughs> reason at all. What the heck? I'm so sorry. <laughs> like nothing left. <laughs> Dang, they must be hungry. Mm. Man. Is that a spoon in there? <laughs> I can smell it. It's so good. <laughs> fair wages for fair work. <laughs> what did you do? Get your horse, Sarah. You told me you weren't a thief. I wasn't. He took us in. He fed us. And Aye, he took us in. He's a good man. His daughter makes a nice stew. And they'll both be dead come winter. I do know it. He's weak. He can't protect himself. They'll both be dead come winter. Dead men don't need silver. You're the worst shit in the Seven Kingdoms. He's plenty worse than me. I just understand the way things are. How many stars they got to behead before you figure it out? Oh. Ripper. Ripper. Yeah. I wish the hound was working for Ned or something, you know, he'd be so powerful. Yeah. He's like, uh, no? Maybe goes through therapy or something. <laughs> That's crazy. I thought he was going to help him. There's a hundred men lying awake at night picturing you. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> 101. What about me? I worry about you. Thank you. Same talk that Shay and Tyrion always have. Oh. Yeah. Joffrey, the usurper, Joffrey Baratheon. 
I said those words when I tossed a leech into the fire, a leech filled with bastard blood. A bastard you set free. I am now faced with a great opportunity, and I am powerless to take advantage of it. We'll find you an army, Grace. I've been working day and night. Well, Westeros is not the world, Your Grace. We need to look east for ships and men. Ten thousand skilled soldiers fight for the Golden Company. The Golden Company? They've never broken a contract. They sell swords! We're willing to use blood magic to put you on the throne, but we're not willing to pay men to fight. The Red Woman's magic is real. Her visions and prophecies may be too, but I've never heard of visions and prophecies winning a war. Soldiers win wars. It's, it's true. dirty on the ground. We don't have any gold. You can't keep not killing yet. king. Yeah. Kill one king, another one replaces them. You were a pirate once. No, I was never a pirate. I was a smuggler. What's the difference? If you're a famous smuggler, you're not doing it right. My father says a criminal is a criminal. Your father... I suppose if you work for the Iron Bank of Bravos, and each one of your gold barges is worth half a kingdom, you tend not to be overly concerned with the kind of distinction. I need a smart person to do it. <laughs> this is going to feel all right. <laughs> the Iron Bank of Bravos, from Stannis Baratheon, the one true king of Westeros, She'll clean and cook and look after the other girl's babies. Find other work for her, too. No other work. There'd be money. Give you a piece of it. No other work. This place doesn't look that safe. I know. That girl reminds me of Osha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Her with the teeth and her. They're already on there. <laughs> you like them both the same? Boys and girls. Does that surprise you? Everyone has a preference. And everyone is missing half the world's pleasure. <laughs> the gods made that, and it delights me. The gods made this, and it delights me. When it comes to war, I fight for dawn. When it comes to love, I don't choose side. <laughs> <laughs> like when the police show up at the party. <laughs> no, thank you. So why? No, thank you. I'm sorry about your grandson. Are you? I don't believe that a child is responsible for the sins of his father. Or his grandfather. Why haven't you thrown me in a dungeon? You spoke with Tilly in this very brothel on the day that you arrived. What did you discuss? The death of my sister. For which you blame me? She was raped and murdered by the mountain. The mountain follows your orders. Of course I blame you. Here I stand, unarmed, unguarded. Should I be concerned? You are unarmed and unguarded because you know me better than that. I am a man of reason. If I cut your throat today, I will be drawn and quartered tomorrow. Men at war commit all kinds of crimes without their superior's knowledge. So you deny involvement in Elias murder? Categorically. You didn't say no, right? I would like to speak with the mountain. I'm sure he would enjoy speaking with you. Might not enjoy it as much as he thinks he would. There will be a trial for my son, and as custom dictates, three judges will render a verdict. I would like you to be the third. Why? Not long ago, the Tyrells sided with Renly Baratheon, declared themselves enemies of the throne. Now they are our strongest allies. So you made the Tyrell girl a queen? I will also invite you to sit on the small council to serve as one of the new king's principal advisers. And in the east, a Targaryen girl has three dragons. Before long, she will turn her eyes to Westeros. Only the Dornish managed to resist Aegon Targaryen and his dragons. Ah. You help me serve justice to the king's assassins, and I will help you serve justice to Elias. Taiwan's understand he needs help. I would like to think, if I were arranging a royal assassination, I plan it in such a way that I wouldn't be standing there gawking like a fool when the king died. Of course. Very well, my wife, Sansa. My lord. She's gone. Gone? No one's seen her since the wedding. You don't think she... No one had more cause to kill Joffrey than Sansa. But the girl's no assassin. Whoever killed the king wanted me to lose my head for it. But say what you will of Cersei. She loves her children. She is the only one I'm certain had nothing to do with this murder. Which makes it unique as King's Landing murders go. Any other witnesses, my lord? <laughs> He's trying to solve his own case. Paris, get yourself out of King's Landing before it's too late. Claude! 
says farewell. Farewell. It's like Tyrion's pretty much fucked. Yeah. Hunter's hella loyal, man. Yeah. There has never lived a more loyal squire. It's a different town. Potato better than your mom. She got this. Oh. Oh no, it could. Hide. Hide. Oh. Damn, Ingrid. These are just farmers, right? You know how to get to Castle Black. <laughs> They're behind the wall, though. They figure they'll never be attacked, you know? Yeah. Go to your parents. Open your eyes. I'm going to eat them. Do you hear me? I'm going to eat your dead mama. And I'm going to eat your dead papa. Go tell the crows at Castle Black. Three dozen bodies with slit throats tossed off the top of the wall. Seems like that'll be a good lesson. If we go after them, we'll be given them what want to draw us out. We must remember our first responsibility. We are the watchers on the wall. You're a champion of the common people, Lord Snow. What do you say to Brother Pip's proposition? Come, Lord Snow. And it's Lord Snow, Snow yeah. <laughs> if the wildlings breach the wall, they'll roll over everything and everyone for a thousand miles before they reach an army that can stop them. Rangers return. Good wise, my lad. Oh, wow, these guys are back. Oh. Took you so long. We were held up. By what? Chains. We were guests of the mutineers across the keep. And the mutineers stay. They're not going anywhere. They've got Custer's food and his wives. We need to ride north and kill them all. We just went over this far. Justice can wait. It's not about justice. I told the wildlings we had over a thousand men at Castle Black alone. Carl and the others know the truth as well as we do. How long do you think they'll keep that information to themselves when the wildlings are peeling their fingernails off? Oh, good Man says all he needs to crush us, he just doesn't know it yet. But as soon as he gets his hands on them, he will. Then he'll throw his full strength at us. And even if every one of us kills a hundred wildlings, there's still not a thing we can do to stop them. I don't think I can kill a hundred wildlings. <laughs> Reminds me of the gates of Karth. Yeah. Next city, huh? Reminds me of uh, Age of Empire. No, you're right, Warcraft. They showed it in the intro. A champion of Marine. Marine? They want you to send your own champion against them. What is he doing? Well, if he means to. He claims he were no woman at all, but a man who has his cock in his own arsehole. He translated all that. She always had a bad. No meaningless hypothesis you intend to take is lines to translate. You sure you don't want a horse? How long horse? Horses are faster than men. Horses are dumber than men. You a cock? Like the movie Choi. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the first game. thing that came to mind. Just gonna chuck it. Oh, 
god, dude. <laughs> Damn, that looks so That's easy. So quick. From the previous city that she freed. Yeah. Oh, you're dead. Someone should hand her like a speakerphone. Yeah, I was like, surprised how they can hear. Her. That's the first thing I thought of. If they're outside of the archer range, that must be like, and it's really <laughs> high up. I really thought she was just gonna get the dragon to burn that guy. <laughs> Pretty good episode. Yeah, good. A lot of filler, I guess. I feel like it's a lot of catching up. Yeah. Yeah, Sansa and Peter. Yeah. Not good at all. Not at all, man. Can't trust that guy. But should she leave King's Landing though? Now that Joffrey's dead? 